We've talked about some other system components. We'd like to talk now about the pipe batten and our batten terminations. So this is our pipe. We call it a batten, B-A-T-T-E-N. Um, it is typically inch and a half uh, Schedule 40 steel pipe. Um, sometimes other uh, mediums are used, but it is typically an inch and a half. Um, and we have different types of options that we can use for batten terminations where our lift lines connect to the batten. Um, but we're going to talk about a trim chain because that's what we have right here first. So we have a chain, which is a Schedule 40 chain, um, big enough for a quarter inch shackle to fit through it. And it does a double wrap uh, with no crossing around the batten. And then uh, it goes back up into a shackle. So we, our chain goes directly into the thimble. Um, we have our copper uh, oval sleeve here that's been terminated with our swaging tool. And then we have the chain pressed directly into that. Um, and then we have our chain that goes around and the double wrap goes back up. So we have um, uh, a good protective redundancy here. Um, one thing you might notice about this is this bolt here. Uh, you might see this in your system. This used to be our industry standard to have this safety bolt. Um, if properly installed, it's probably not a problem to leave it there. But remember that this uh, is uh, not our industry standard now. So if you don't have these bolts, don't worry about it. Um, if you do, then next time you have a rigging inspection done by a qualified inspector, they'll, they'll let you know if they think that they need to be removed. Um, and then the other thing I'd like to point out is how this shackle has this zip tie, this plastic zip tie here. Um, that also could be done with bailing wire. You might see it in a different way, but this is uh, called mousing is what we call this. And what it is is to make sure that the pin of the shackle doesn't back its way out of the shackle. Um, with the movement as things fly up and down. So it's very important to have some sort of mousing method if you have a screw pin anchor shackle like this, which is very common for a trim chain assembly.